After a day's riding, let's talk about the new Triumph Tiger 1200 XRT. It's the new Triumph Tiger, it's the top of the range. The Triumph Explorer has been discontinued and this is now their flagship. So what do I think about it? Well, you know when you get a bike, you wonder if it's going to be for you. Well, I, I wondered if this was going to be for me. Very simply, I've been blown away. Absolutely blown away. I didn't think I would enjoy an adventure bike at all. My normal bike is a Yamaha FJR. And an adventure bike is totally different. This bike, well, they've, they've redone the engine. They've taken away 11 kilograms from the Explorer with the drive shaft and with the flywheel being lighter and other things as well. There's five different riding settings. Here are the different settings on the dash. That's sport. Normal road. Rain. That's driver so you can do whatever you want. You've got mountain. So you've got the different settings that you can do on there. In addition to that, you've got different settings that you can put onto the dash that you want to know. Over my period, I've averaged 48.5 miles to the gallon. The tank gets around about 170 miles out of the tank. She's not a big tank. Auto contrast. So within here, you can actually change the different settings. There's three different settings that you can do. That's the one I like. Tells you what level the coolant is. You can adjust the screen height. Then you've got the different settings for the suspension. Sport, normal and comfort. I found that comfort itself was a little bit too comfortable. Normal for me is perfect, but you've got the different settings if you wish to use them. And then you come back to the dash to tell you what your miles per gallon are. Isn't that dash just lovely? There's even a setting where you can go in and adjust it all yourself. There's a tremendous amount you can do with this bike. You've got off-road and off-road pro. Off-road, well it still keeps some of the bits to keep you, well I guess kind of safe. Off-road pro, it's just the bike. It's you, the bike and the countryside. I don't do off-road because of shoulders, but those settings are there. You've got sport and you've got normal road. You've got wet setting. And I've tried all those three. The wet setting, in fact, was yesterday in the rain. I've never felt so safe riding a bike in the rain. I'm 17 stone. In a bit and maybe it's a bit more. <laughs> Alright, I'm 17 and a half stone. This bike is perfectly balanced for me. I've never had a bike that felt so balanced. In the wet, it was tremendous. I don't see a big difference between the normal road and the sport mode. But yes, there is a slight difference. Miles per gallon. Now here we go. At 70 miles per hour, you'll get around about 70 miles to the gallon. At 80, you'll get 50. At 90, you'll get 30. At 60 miles an hour, you're getting around about 70 miles per the gallon still. But at 50 miles an hour, you're getting 80 miles to the gallon. That's not too bad for a bike of this size at all, 1215ccs. Right, not many people are going to toot along at 50, but at between 70 and 80, you're going to get an average of 45 miles to the gallon, which again, I don't think is too bad. The adventure style boxes that you can get as an addition, I absolutely love these. They, they just, you just lift the lid and you're in, there's so much, there's so much space. What else can I say about it? It's keyless. You've got the key fob, which here it is here. You press start and off you go. 
it's as simple as that. You still need the key to get into the boxes, fair enough. The riding position. Well, both seats can be heated. You've got a switch on the side for the heated on the rear and within the system here, you can switch on the heated seat. I don't know why you have a heated seat. Somebody told me yesterday, there's a heated seat because if you're riding in the cold, your willy's gonna get cold and you're gonna need more wheeze. So the heated seat stops your willy from getting cold. For women, well, <clears throat> um, I'll let you make that mind up yourself. So, what do I think of this Triumph Tiger 1200 XRT? Retails around about brand new, 16 and a half thousand pounds plus bits. There's two for sale in the country at the moment who are on X demonstrators. They're around about 14, 14 and a half thousand pounds. So it's a big investment to do it. But it's one hell of a bike. I would prefer this over a BMW GS any day of the week. The engine, the speed of the takeoff is absolutely tremendous. What are the downsides? Well, it's got quick shift. Quick shift means that you can change gear without touching the clutch, except when you come to a stop or you're setting off. So quick shift, you can just use your foot and change up and change down, and it's smooth. Except, when you're at traffic lights, and as I like to, I set off in second gear, and you bring your left foot up to put it back on the peg, and you accidentally touch the gear lever, and it goes into neutral. I've done that a few times, even though I do realise you forget and I do it again. In second gear, it's actually jumped into neutral as well, so I don't know if that's just a bit of a glitch. So the quick shift, oh my god, here's what it sounds like with the quick shift. Isn't that a tremendous noise? <laughs> it's got the top of the range arrow exhaust system, hence the reason for the great noise. A brilliant addition to this, it's got hill assist, hill assist. So you can bring in your front brake and it'll hold you on the hill, up on the dash and H comes up and it'll hold you. I've done it on hard not pass and it'll still hold you. You've got to put a bit more revs on it to get it away if you keep it in, in uh, hill shift because it needs to release the brake. So you do need to put a bit more beans in it to get away with the hill shift, which I've noticed I've stalled a couple of times, but you do get used to it in the end. The Triumph Tiger. Well, I'm actually going to be sad to see her go. I've fallen in love with her. I don't want her to go back. I would quite happily and feel very safe going around the world on this. In fact, I'm excited to do it. I want to do it. This bike will do absolutely anything you want it to and want more. It's like a friend that turns around and says, I know you're tired and I know you're pissed off, but come on, let's just go a bit further. Let's just do a bit more. And it gives you that cuddling arm around your shoulders to say, it's all right, everything's going to be fine, I'm going to take care of you. It's a tremendous bike. Absolutely tremendous bike. I think that's all I can say at the moment before I get emotional. <laughs> emotional about metal, oh my God. Triumph Tiger XRT 1200. If you're looking at getting a new bike, or even one of the ex-demonstrators just a couple of hundred miles on. Check this out. Seriously, check this out. It's the best that Triumph have ever had. Bye-bye for now.